Hello everyone and um, welcome back to my studio. There are a few things that I wanted to share with you today. Um, it's three really important tips that I think will be very helpful for you for your painting. I'm actually working on a new course on design and value or composition and value and there were three really important points that I'm going to go into in great depth in the course but I'd like to share those with you now to start to give you an idea about how you could start to use these tips in your um, in your painting. So the first one is you know when you're looking at your painting and you want to get the the composition right. You want to draw the viewer into the picture. Now we have talked quite a lot about in, in the past about the rule of thirds that you've got focal points on those crosses on the um, on the dividing lines of those crosses on the canvas which works but you know say for example you're design isn't going with that structure. So how do you get a focal point? Now, one of the interesting things about any art is, or anything really actually in our life, <laughs> is we notice and we remember differences. You know, if we're going to a party or if it's our birthday or something special happens, then we, you know, we remember those special days, those different days. And we want something really different to happen in our art. So these key points is to actually have a look at the paintings that you've got already that you've done and pretend that you've never seen them before <laughs> and watch where your eye goes in that picture. Is it moving around the picture? So where is your eye going? And see if it takes you around or see if it just is going static or see if there isn't a specific focal point. So that's tip number one, to actually look at it with fresh eyes and see where your eye is going. The next thing to have a think about is when you're doing your painting to ask yourself a couple of questions. One question is, should I make this shape larger or smaller? Is it different or is it the same as another shape? And the idea is to make it different because we're looking for those aha moments in our painting. We're looking for something that stands out. So, when you're painting, ask yourself, is that mark uh, going to be smaller or bigger in relationship to the rest of the painting? So it's another really interesting point to consider. And the third one is, how can I make it different? You know, it's very interesting because when we start doing our abstract painting particularly, but this rule actually applies to any kind of art. It's not just to abstract painting. We want to have focal points and differences, whether we're doing a landscape or a portrait or, you know, whatever it is that we're doing. So the question is, um, normally we tend to make our shapes the same size. And funnily enough, statistically, it shows that we make them like a fist size. So we might have a square in that corner and we might have a circle in that corner, but they're very similar in size. So when you're looking at your painting, have a look how many shapes are the same and how many are different. Even if you're doing, you know, as I said, a landscape, are the trees all the same size or have you got a large tree and a smaller tree? Where is your eye going? <laughs> is it picking up on those differences? And if you can grasp this with your painting, they will suddenly start to take on a new energy because they're dynamic. And when someone's looking at them, 
it gives them a nice surprise because there's something different about it. You can also use this with many different things, which I'm going to show you in the course, whether we do it with saturation of colour, whether we do it with the value of the colour, whether we do it with the complements of colour, where those differences are going. So I'm very excited to share um, this little um, video with you to give you something to think about when you're looking at your painting and when you're actually doing a new painting. So you can already get in motion this idea of creating differences and spark points in your painting. And the course is going to go into this in a lot of depth so you can really understand it. And for me personally, when I go back and have a look at old paintings and I can then see how I can alter them to make them um, more interesting, to draw you in more. And so I hope you find that really helpful. And do leave me a comment if you like. And I look forward to seeing you soon. And I'll keep you posted to when the new course on design and value is going to be available. So take care and happy painting. See you soon. Bye for now.